Now, uh, the war drags on, uh, Garland, uh, largely at your expense, uh, though the ultimate price is paid by the dead bodies of Ukrainians and the freezing bodies of those Ukrainians not yet killed in this bloody war, which has now dragged on for the best part of a year, uh, 10 months uh, to be precise. Um, how is it seen from the US? Von der Leyen is caught on camera, the footage is out today, saying that 100,000 Ukrainian soldiers have died in the war, which means that two to three times that number have been wounded, maimed in the conflict. So uh, more than 400,000 people killed or wounded in 10 months. Uh, how many dead Ukrainians is the US government prepared to pay? In a nutshell, all of them until they run out. And then if they can do Poles or Romanians or any other group that they'd be perfectly happy to do that. A big part of the discussion regarding, uh, right, particularly now the last few days, um, the big uh, news story in the U.S. regarding that is Emmanuel Macron's visit to um, Washington, D.C. As I said, I'm four blocks from the White House right now in my office. That's K Street right behind me. So Macron's probably not far away. And uh, the news is reporting that uh, significant uh, uh, reports that the um, the Europeans are furious because uh, the United States is profiting greatly, you know, because of the war profiteering. And also the U.S. is um, removing, uh, in you know, is basically de-industrializing um, the EU and bringing the indus industry to the United States and that there's uh, there's a, a, a good amount of enmity coming. What is Macron going to say? And, you know, you and I have discussed that significantly in the past, in my opinion. He's going to he's going to do the same thing that Olaf Scholz came here uh, and did when he was uh, discussing the Nord Stream 2. He's going to keep his mouth shut. He's going to do what he's told. And when he goes back, he's going to do his job. The ruling elite in the EU understand that their job is to pacify the masses in Europe as long as they possibly can, while the United States continues to profiteer and to take the industry of Europe and bring it here. They have to give the illusion. They have to be controlled opposition. Macron, Schultz, etc. They'll pound their fists, they'll weep, and they'll gnash their teeth, and they will try to give their constituents the illusion that they're standing up to fight against the U.S., taking their heavy industry, when in fact they are nothing but collaborators. And I don't know if the European people do, do that, but the, the, here's, here's the truth. The Americans are laughing at them. Americans are looking at the Europeans saying, you people are suckers. We all know what they're doing over here. We are sitting here saying we can't believe that you guys are just going to sit there and allow Biden and his people to rob you blind and take your industry. So to be quite frank, I mean, the conversation over here is, well, if the Europeans are suckers, that's what suckers are for. You're supposed to take the money of a sucker. As P.T. Barnum said, it's against the, 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 the laws of God and nature to allow a sucker to keep his money. Now, I feel horrible for the people of Europe because they are being misled and lied to. And, and they truly believe, unfortunately, that their leaders are looking out for them. They're complicit and they're over here helping Biden steal your jobs and they're gonna end up with nothing. But that's, the, that's actually the discussion here. Americans understand what's going on and most of us can't believe that the Europeans will just sit there and allow that to happen. I am Garland Nixon. We are all Garland Nixon. If this account is not reinstated by the end of this week, further measures will be organized by the viewers of the mother of all talk shows. Garland, thanks as always for joining us.